Welcome to the Book of Light. Dear friends, what is the Book of Light? It unites all religions in the world without taking away their individuality. It shows that all religions in themselves and in themselves have a uniting core which reveals that there was once one knowledge splitting in the religions of today. That happened, dear friends, by necessity. It had to be, because consciousness of people fell. And so religion was better than no religion at all. I assume there would be no mankind today if there would not have been religion. But you see, dear friends, we are now in the time in the age of Aquarius. And the age of Pisces has passed, 2,000 years, approximately. That was the age of belief. Now we are in the age of knowledge. That knowledge will unite us all without taking away the individuality of your religion. So, dear Muslims, your religion is correct. Dear Christians, your religion is right. Dear Buddhists, dear Jews, any religion in the world is perfectly okay. There's no need to fight against each other. The question is just what unites them? This will be revealed in the Book of Light. When you listen to me, it was dictated to me and it will sooner or later unite all religions and end the religious wars on earth. Of course, those who fight now against each other, they have to outlive their karma. Let them kill themselves and others. It sounds cruel when I say that to you, dear friends. But you see, our karma is not theirs. While they cause havoc and destroy each other, we f come up, so to speak, we rise, we grow with the Book of Light. It will happen step by step, silently, more or less. So, we have in the City of Light, we have a world church where all religions can come. Now, I will tell you something. In Berlin, we have a world church. They build a world church. Now, wait until they are at each other's throats. Because you cannot have a world church where all religions are invited and you tell them, practice your religion in here. So now the Muslims and Christians come together and the Christians have their, you know, day or evening in the church there and they say, Jesus is God. There are some Muslims among them say, what? Allah is God, what are you talking about? And you can already see, dear friends, what happens there. You cannot have a world church without a uniting, mes a uniting message and teaching. That is the book of light. And it will happen sooner or later, dear friends. So let them outlive their karma. We come with our book of light and we offer solution of all the problems, the end of all religious wars by showing and revealing the common source and core of all religions, uniting them. And so we can say that there was a time, this is basic book of light teaching dictated to me by the Maha Chohan, there was a time when high beings revealed to us a knowledge that united everyone on earth. It was the knowledge of purpose or you could say of course and purpose of man and universe origin and purpose of man and universe and that knowledge split into the religions of today because our consciousness the consciousness of humanity fell and so religion was better than nothing now we are age of Aquarius we can change and we will change Paris Passu like Madame Blavatsky always says, to whom I have dedicated, amongst others, the Book of Light. It will happen, this, this uniting of religion, but it will take its time. See? Why does it take its time? Well, when you are on a huge tanker, on a boat, a huge boat, and, and you drive forward, and you decide to stop the boat, you may even put the the motor backwards, so to speak. But it will still take one or two miles for the boat to stop. This you can compare to this knowledge reawakened in the Book of Light. 
human mind will always understand where am I, where do I come from, where do I go to. And priesthood and religions have often abused that urge in humanity by presenting a twisted, a twisted version of the truth in order to enslave mankind. We have to reverse that problem or that process different. Now we'll see. Human religion, or religion per se, is actually an urge in mankind to discover, to understand, where do I come from, where am I, where do I go. Now during the time of Pisces, ages of Pisces and so forth, of believers, this, these questions could have only been answered in a childlike manner with symbols, with allegories, and so forth. Time is now, time has come to lift the veil and to tell the things as they are. Glory to the Book of Light, Book of Books, Savior of Mankind. Now you see, if you look at that term religion, where does it arrive? We are talking today about of origin. And when we use words, we must also look at the true meaning. When we look at the term religion, then we find that it means, it, it derives from the Latin, religare. That means bind back. Bind back. So every religion is actually nothing but an intention to get back by teaching, by knowledge, to where we came from to the source. Therefore, you could say religion points always to the source. Therefore, I say, dear friends, truth is not in the future. Truth is in the past. In the past. And it reawakens now again. Because the time has come that more and more people are ready for that truth. We don't condemn religion or philosophies and so forth because behind them all is that one core, that one source. And those who have brought up the religions with permission, by the way, of the masters because the masters saw that this was necessary and also removal of teaching of karma and reincarnation with karma and reincarnation with permission of the masters because it was necessary for people maybe for a while to understand that you can't only always say oh next life I do it next life and do it next life so there had to be an evolution in in mankind to do it in this life to do it to do it immediately to be a bit faster in the outliving of the karma. Now the bond has loosened and the masters permit again that the teaching of karma and reincarnation can be spread as we do it in the Book of Light. This is, dear friend, the Book of Light belongs to all mankind. It was always there in Akasha, in etheric realms and now sort of like a a spiritual power, it spreads over all mankind, slowly, slowly, slowly. And we will see that fundamental principles are in, are revealed in the Book of Light of all religions. And it teaches us, not necessarily immediately becoming spiritual or going into esoteric realms, and to fantasize. No, no, we, we still stay also with one foot, at least, on earth, and we don't do a, a spread too hurtful or extreme to the other realms that surround us, of which, by the way, we are built ourselves too. Now, these different religions of today, dear friends, they all derived from one source. That is the teaching of the Book of Light. You can say 
that uh, they are to be compared to light, white light. And this white light has different spectrums, you know, different colors. And so we can say that the book of light is this white light. And in it are contained all the spectres, all the religions of the world, uniting them, not destroying them, not taking away their individuality. Earlier times they called it paganism, but it was already a distorted version of the truth. But better than nothing, dear friends. Because if there would have been nothing, cannot be repeated often enough, then there would be no more mankind right now. So a little bit of, of fear about the consequence of your actions, of your thoughts, of your emotions, that was religion. So it held at least people a little bit back, destroying themselves completely. Now today we have a, a perversion. But, and I tell you now something from the Book of Light you may not believe when you, if you never have heard about it. But it was much worse, worse, nine million years ago. So, believe it or not, we are on the arc upwards back to the spirit. And when I say spirit, dear friends, you will see what I mean by that. Not necessarily maybe what you understand of it. So, we say that each religion contains part of the Book of Light. And now the time has come to reveal, so to speak, the, the entire, the whole uniting truth. Where does evil come from, dear friends? Who knows it? It comes from human intelligence, so-called intelligence, only believing, I only believe what I see here, does taste, uh, uh, smell. Most people, most intelligent people say that. I only believe what I see. Well, can you see the air? No, but it exists. Just a simple example. Dear friends, the Book of Light teaches we are one-seventh of what is we perceive by our senses. The rest we cannot yet see. But every animal almost can see it already. They see those other realms. Not only can they see and hear better here on the physical earth, but also those other realms. This is very important to know. And we only survive with the brain. Otherwise, otherwise, we are the weakest link in nature. We would never survive one second without mental power. And there you see that um, manas rupa, we call it, mentality, spiritual mentality also, which means to know about the, in, to us still invisible realms, but to create with mind a, a bridge, a link to those realms. It is very important. If not, we will destroy ourselves completely, as we do right now. But, now it sounds contradictive, but we are on the ascending arc to the spirits. And every form has to vanish anyway, anyhow. So, but that should not be understood hmm, depressed or negative. No, no. So, human intelligence of today is basically one cause of evil. Because that intelligence fools around with nature. And nature hits back, of course. Now, the main cause, though, I would say, of evil on earth is religion as it is today. It is those who abuse that one and only knowledge and there are those among them who know the knowledge of the Book of Light but who misuse it. But they are actually very stupid because they create negative karma. We had that in Atlantean times, millions of years ago. To sorcery and so forth we come to that. So, there is, on earth, human misery. 